Okay, let's um continue here. Right. A triangle has a height that is increasing at a rate of two centimeters per second. So the HDT equals two centimeters a second. And its area is increasing at the rate of four centimeters per second squared. So centimeters squared per second. Find the rate at which the base Find the rate at which the base of the triangle is changing. Okay, so that's the BDT, which will be DB um, DA, DA, DT, or maybe I can go with area is a half the base by the height. So if I differentiate this, I get the A D T equals a half D B D T H plus a half B D H D T. So that would be um, the A D T is four and then a half D B D T. That's what we want, isn't it? A half db dt find the rate at which the base is changing times the h when the height is four and the area is 20. oh the area is 20. i might need that in a second plus a half the base now because we know the area is 20 a half the base by the height should equal 20. so so that means b has to be 10. So that's a half times 10 times 2. So that's nice that the 2's cancel. And that cancels there, making a 2. So I get 4 equals 2 dB dt plus 10. So that would be minus 6 divided by 2. So it would be dB dt. Um, minus three centimeters per second. Hopefully that's right. Unfortunately, I'm very tired today. I think I can only manage one other question. I, I'm only making these really to keep the momentum going. So uh, let's just do one more for today. I'm sorry. Just really tired. For the following exercise, consider a right cone that is leaking water. The dimensions of the conical tank, uh, height 16, radius 5. So the uh, how fast does the depth of the water change? So that's d h d t. Well, that could be d h d b d v d t. Because we know it leaks water at a rate of 10. So that would be minus 10 for and then it's um the HDT. The volume is pi or square uh, no it's not, it's one third. Pi or squared H. So D B H is one third pi r squared. So this would be minus ten. Oh, sorry, I wrote dhdt. I meant db. Uh, so if I flip that, that will be times three over pi r squared. But this is when the R is 10. So that would be minus 30 over 100 pi. Cancel the zero. So that would be minus 3 over 10 pi 
um, feet per minute. Now let's check if that's right. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see. 24. Here, 128 over 125. Ugh. Oh, Stephen, that that 10 is for the height, not the. I put in uh, something the wrong blooming thing. Just so tired, that's why I'm only going to do two questions today. How fast does the depth of the water change when the water is 10 feet high? So, um, that's or we need to get the radius though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> DHDT, DHDB, DBDT. How are we going to get the radius here? Oh, a bit of sneaky stuff here. Um, that's H and that's OR. And um, we know originally, actually, that's uh, five and sixteen. So the four over h should maintain the same ratio, five over sixteen. So that means or will be five over sixteen times h. So that'll be minus 30 over pi, 5 over 16 times h. And now the height is 10 squared. Okay. Okay, it's leaving it in an awkward form. Let's see, fifty divided by uh, uh divided by sixteen. That's twenty five over eight. So I'll clean that up a little bit. Twenty five over eight. So on the top you'll get eight squared times thirty, which is nineteen twenty, and on the bottom you'll get six two five pi. That seems familiar, is that what it is? Two two eight over one two five so I can must be able to simplify it. Three eight four over one two five. Mm. Something's gone a bit haywire for this question. Okay, so that would be minus 10 times 3 over pi r squared, which will be minus 30 over pi, 5 over 16 h squared. Minus three, yeah, it's what I'm getting. Minus three, eight, four over one, two, five pi. Um, feet per minute. Question twenty five. One, two, eight over one, two, five. I have the one, two, five, but not the one, two, eight.
So it's as if that tree, it's as if the tree is wrong. If this tree was gone, I'd be right. But the tree is there because it's here. So it is a cone and not a cylinder. So if whoever was doing this question, did they forget the tree or am I making a mistake? Let me pause to see if this is listed on their correction list. Find it listed. So have I done something wrong here? Which is possible, of course. Or possible. For the following exercise, consider a right cone that is leaking more. Dimension of the con con conical tank are height 16, radius 5. So the radius over the height, if you were to shrink that down, it'd still be 5 over 16. So, okay, so that's right. So the radius being 5 over 16 times the height, that's right. So that looks okay to me. All right. And how fast is the depth of the water change when the water is 10 feet high if the cone leaks water at a rate of 10? So they want how fast does the depth of the water change when the water is 10 feet high? So they want dH dt, which is dH dv, dv dt. So that would be minus 10 and then dH dv. I suppose the only problem though is with the dv dH Perhaps because the R and H variables, they're, they're linked, they're not independent. Perhaps this is where the problem has crept in. Um, if I fix that up now, B is one third I R squared H. But what we'd much prefer is not to have the R, the R squared. Uh, we'd much prefer just to have the H instead. So again, I could do the replacement here. One third pi five over 16 H squared by H. So that would be 25 over 256, right? Times one over three. So that's 25 over 768 pi h cubed. So then you would get dv dh. So if I multiply that by 3, I get 25 over 256 pi h squared. So let's um let's change this now. So that would be 25 over 256 pi h squared. So if I just sub in the h is 10, oh, and it's sort of the upside down, shouldn't it? So that's minus 10 over 25 over 256 pi h squared. Uh, minus 128 over 125 pi feet per minute. Yeah, okay. That's the first hard one now. Um, yeah, I had a kind of a feeling when I was differentiating that I was doing something wrong because um, The R isn't a constant, and the H isn't a constant. They're both variables. Now, let me go back to the exercise here. Let me just see, is that the first time that that has come up? 
So let's see now. We did okay with those. The sphere is just one variable, the sphere is one variable. With the triangle, I use the product rule a lot. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done this time as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's that's a bit careless of me, but just goes to show that the question can suddenly transition and now we're into a harder one. So uh, although I did only two questions today, it took a lot longer than I thought, but maybe that's a good thing because it really got us fleshed out and working on 25 and got us discussing about why my initial way of doing it was wrong. Um, because we're not quite at the point in calculus yet where we would be using partial derivatives. So we'll leave it there for today. Apologies for that. And thanks for watching.